Well, the big news this week is that former Apprentice contestant and now former Trump administration employee, Amarosa, whatever the heck her last name is, has a brand new tell-all book out and is exposing President Trump for being a bad man. Because, as you know, bitter and disgruntled ex-employees can always be trusted to tell the truth, especially when they're aiming to make a quick million dollars by selling those allegations to a bloodthirsty mob of morons. The big story here, other than the fact that she was secretly recording conversations inside the White House, violating national security protocols, including her own firing by Chief of Staff John Kelly, is the fact that she is contradicting her own book in interviews about her fake book. In the book, she wrote that she heard about the allegation that Donald Trump was supposedly captured on audio tape using the N-word, but then in interviews peddling her book, she said that she personally heard the audio tape herself. Even NPR says Amarosa tells NPR she heard Trump N-word tape contradicting her own book. Even Never Trumper Frank Luntz has called the book fake news. Tweeting, quote, I'm in Amorosa's book on page 149. She claims to have heard from someone who heard from me that I heard Trump use the N-word. Not only is this flat out false, I've never heard such a thing, but Amorosa didn't even make an effort to call or email me to verify. Very shoddy work. CNN's April Ryan even says that Amorosa is a liar and calls her evil. And the bottom line is, is that, yes, she was complicit, but she was doing all this knowing that it was going to be a payoff in the end for her. And then once she got upset with him or he got upset with her or whatever happened, she decides to turn on him. She's not a yeah. friend. She's a liar. And I would say she's evil. I hope she can uh, respond to that at some point soon, calling her evil. Uh, and I'm sure she will. I'm sure she will. Panel, stick around. Um, let's take a turn for a moment, and we'll bring the panel back later in the hour. After the break, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, is he taking a page from President Trump's playbook? Here's what Amarosa had to say about Donald Trump before she was trying to make a quick million off the useful idiots she's hoping will buy her new book. And I also think it's important that I know him personally, and he certainly is not a racist. He doesn't have issues with people of color, and I think it's important to note that he will not become the poster child for race in this country. That sounds exactly like the same things that Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and everyone else in the black community said about Donald Trump for decades before becoming infected by the liberal pathogen being spread by the mainstream media after he became the Republican nominee for the President of the United States. But here's the serious part, guys. A Trump N-word audio tape will most likely surface before the 2020 election because it will have been manufactured by Adobe Voco or other deepfake Photoshop for voice technology, which can synthesize anyone's voice and make them say anything, and it's almost impossible to distinguish from an actual recording. Most people have never heard of Adobe Voco yet, but they will, and it's just one of several programs which can create fake audio, and it's going to cause a lot of problems, and fake news is going to go supernova. If you guys enjoy these videos, I hope you'll check out my book, The True Story of Fake News, in paperback on Amazon.com or download the ebook onto your tablets or your e-reading device. Or go to MarkDice.com, click the links in the description below to go to my online store and check out some of my awesome shirts like the brand new Ronald Reagan Donald Trump shirt or the vintage Abraham Lincoln Trump shirt. Your purchase helps keep this channel going. So appreciate your support. Check back tomorrow for a new report and I will see you soon.